Hello, this is Brian Johnson with Domain Parking Money, and today I want to talk a little bit about a fantastic tool that I use that has helped me to uh, scan hundreds of domains and perform a lot of basic domain research on domains that have not been registered yet, that are still available, keyword rich domains, or domains that may be available and I could uh, use the program to send them an email to see if they're interested in selling their domain or possibly collaborating with me on some, some type of a level. It also allows you to scan through uh, domains that are going to be soon expiring and this is one of the ways that I've really capitalized on this program to find what I call uh, or cherry pick expired domains to really find domains that have the potential to rank very well in the future. Now what I, what I do is I go through these expired domains and I use the domain research tool. You can find some links below this video for that tool. Or if you're watching this video on any of the uh, video websites, you can visit my site domainparkingmoney.net to get additional information and links for the tool. But I use the tool to basically import a list of say 200 domains that I already have filtered prior and then I go through them uh, in additional steps with the tool to find information on how long the site has been online, um, how many pages have been updated, what type of inbound links are posting at Yahoo, what kind of inbound links and information is available at Alexa, uh, PageRank and different information like that. So by really starting at companies like TDNOM or Snap Names or any of the other drop catchers that are available, I'm able to take lists, filter those down to get them to be a manageable size, and then I can uh, take that list and put it into this domain research tool and get lots of data back that helps me make what I call uh, educated uh, decisions on which domains make sense for me to buy. So I've, I recommend the tool. It's very, very powerful. At the same time, the tool has limitations uh, primarily because you're relying on data that's available at these different websites and you've got to pull it back in mass. So the first thing you need is you need proxy servers. And you can get those uh, available online. There's a lot of free sites, but if you're serious about this tool and you're willing to spend 100 bucks, $127, I think is the lowest you can buy it for. Uh, I am offering it for the lowest price available anywhere, um, or the lowest available price that is on my site. So you can get the, the link on the, the page, domainparkmoney.net. But you can get some free proxies, but they're not, you're going to get maybe four or five hundred free proxies and you're going to find that only several are really alive and working. So what I do is I pay five dollars a month for anywhere from a list of 50 to 200 proxies that are updated daily. And I'll add those to the tool. And then I'll ver verify which proxies are actually alive and I'll save those. And if I do that every couple days, I can usually keep a list of 40 to 65 to 70 proxies alive and working. And by using these proxies, you can kind of gather this data. Now, I've had one reader write in and say he's using the tool, he sees the potential, he's having some issues with, with really pulling in lists and, and such things. One of the things the tool allows you to do is to actually pull back like the entire list of expired domains that are expiring tomorrow at snap names. Well, if you pull that list in, it's going to be, I don't know, 50,000, 100,000. It's going to be crazy big. So how do you deal with such a large list? Realistically, if you want to scan a list that is that large, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get the software running on a website, a website server. You're going to be able to scan a lot more domains a lot quicker. And basically, you'll just it'll produce a lot better data for you. If you don't want to go to that extreme, then the second option is to basically find the old computer that you haven't been using in a while. If you don't have one, go on to eBay, spend three or four hundred bucks, get a computer that's fairly new, but it doesn't have to be state of the art. Basically, you're going to want, uh, I would suggest for this type of a secondary computer, uh, a mid-range processor, uh, a Pentium 4 processor, a dual core, something like that two gigs of RAM, 
and uh, and that should do it. Really, those are the important things. It's going to be some a good amount of RAM and a decent processor. You don't need a fancy graphics card. You don't need a 22-inch uh, widescreen monitor. You just need something that's going to perform these tasks. Load the program up to your secondary computer. Run it during the daytime. Really work hard on getting a lot of proxies. If you're looking at scanning that many, maybe bump up and pay 10 bucks a month to try to get more uh, alive proxies and, and do it that way. Now, my methodology has been just don't pull back a full list from snap names through the program, but go to snap names, see what tools that they have, see what kind of key, uh, filtering you can do at snap names or any of the other domain catchers. TD NOM allows you to sort by a lot of different criteria. You can perform advanced searches. Get your list there, uh, save it to your desktop, and then import that list into domain into a domain research tool and it'll work well for you. So those are some of the tips that I've used to really try to manage uh, my domain lists, if you will, and to try to gather the data that I need on as few domains as possible. So if you're looking for tools that are going to help you with domain research, fantastic tool, the best one on the market. Pretty much all, all the domainers agree and since I've been using it, I'm pretty happy. Um, at the same time, realize you need some good proxies and you need to work on filtering your list sizes down. Take care, guys. Again, DomainParkingMoney.net.